Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. What's up guys, Jake here, and that's right, I'm still alive. You thought you got rid of me, but I'm here bugging you again. So guys, I actually, uh, last month or so, ended up moving, uh, and if you've ever moved, kind of sucks. Uh, packing up all your stuff and bringing it one place takes some time, therefore I really didn't have any time to pull out the camera and make some content. But for those of you that thought you got rid of me, I'm not even sorry. I'm going to start making videos again and I'm going to shoot for multiple uploads a week. So you're going to see my face plenty, get used to it now because I'm back. Today let's go ahead since we're here and just take a few minutes and talk about what every EVH nut is talking about, the new 5150 Iconic Series amplifiers. So just taking a look here, these amps are much more affordable than any amp EVH has released. So they're super classy looking. They come in the common uh, EVH black and white color schemes. Ah, that ivory is just so eye-catching. Um, and they're totally revamped cosmetically wise. Um, in some aspects, and you'll you'll see why here in a second. So you have the super bold, kind of in your face obnoxious 5150 logo and the smaller EVH branding at the What are you doing? I also got a cat. Her name's Wolfgang. Like really. I named the cat Wolfgang. All right, I'm back. Focus. So these amps are super, super nice cosmetic wise and supposedly tonal wise. So there's not a ton of advertising out on this. They were actually leaked in Wolfgang's uh, music video. I'm sure that was done intentionally. Everyone's saying, oh no, he accidentally did it. I'm sure he did that um, intentionally just to kind of throw it out there. But these are going to come available in October, so it's a very fresh item to hit pre-order lists, so there's not really much to know about them. Taking a look at the control plate, it's pretty, you'll see here, this is why they're kind of re revamped, but also kind of going back to an old design in my opinion. So there's not much out there on what these amps are going to sound like. Uh, so by looking at the front plate here, they're going back to that super cool block style lettering 5150 iconic logo and they're also going back to the two channel amplifier with a boost switch. Now on the old school uh, PV5150s they had what was called the crunch switch which essentially gave the green channel a big kick in the ass. So it seems to me they're going back to like an old school 5150 thing. Master Presonance, Master Resonance. Built-in reverb, that's super cool. Every time I look at these amps, I find something else cool, and I don't know how they're packing it into this price. Reverb, and going back to the boost, it's adjustable. It's so cool. On the PVs, it was not. And here is my favorite feature of the amp. You could have told me this amp was $5,000, and I would have said, here's my credit card built-in noise gate. The reason this is so exciting to me is I'm a high gain player and you have to play with a noise gate in most situations and not all pedal or even rack mountable noise gates are you know play well with high gain amplifiers and the fact that this comes with a noise gate custom voiced for this amplifier is one of the biggest selling points for me. I think that is so so cool and I'm sure it's going to work really really well with the amp. Looking at the back plate here you get so many more features. Uh, you have 4, 8 and 16 ohms. You can run the combos and the heads to any cabinet. Foot switchable and they're going back to the old school thing where you can switch between the two channels and also kick that gain boost on and off. You have an effects loop. You have the oh so famous EVH preamp out that I don't think many people use but Everyone would probably be pissed if they got rid of it. And, 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 and you get a speaker emulated XLR out. Not just a line out, they already give you the preamp out and a speaker emulated out. This is huge. That means you can run straight to an interface, straight to a PA and get that tone with zero volume. Zero, zero volume. That is so, so cool. And then here you have a switch, oh my god, all these features to mute the power amp. Yeah, I'm pre-ordering one. Oh yeah. 
You have your switches on the back, which I kind of like. It keeps the front, uh, the front panel from getting too cluttered. <sighs> it's pissing me off the amount of features in these amps. <laughs> and you have a built-in power attenuator, which is on like the EVH lunchbox style heads and the old, old combos. So you can kick it down to quarter watt or go to the full 40 watts on the combos or 80 watts on the heads. I, th I, th I think I got all the features. I'm sure I'm missing something. Uh, looking down in the description a little bit better. Now here's what's keeping me from putting in that pre-order is I, we don't know what they're gonna sound like. Obviously from these features, it's looking like it's gonna be like a classic PV5150 thing and they're probably veering away from the versatility of a 5153 from the Fender EVH line. That's what it looks like by just looking at the amp, but no one's really heard one yet. I don't think you know anyone's gotten one or there's any videos out there or you know, we're going to have to wait for people to start getting them or YouTubers to start blasting them on the internet. Hint, hint EVH. Anyway. Anyway. So we're really going to have to wait for that until we can really decide what, what tone they're going for. Obviously it's going to be an EVH style tone. And that might be another thing here. And that might be another thing they're trying to do here is make it cater to EVH's tone while those 5153s are meant for everybody from clean and blues players to the most dirty, nasty, high gain metal you can. So they're probably going for something very eddy based. So last thing before you get rid of me is the price. There's a lot of good full tube amps on the market, but there's not, you know, less than a thousand dollars or so, but there's not a lot of, you know, good solid combo amps catering to high gain for that kind of money. It's, you know, Blackstar is doing a good job at it in Orange and Fender. You know, everybody has their like $7,800 tube amp and you're pretty decent, but not many people have one catering to us nasty high gain players. So this is huge for the market at that price point. I want to know how they're getting to that price point. $800 for all these features on the combos. Look at the price of the old 5153 EL84 combo. $1,500. All the same features, much classier looking, $800. I know they're they don't have as many tubes in them and this and that, but I want to know how they're doing this because that is an incredible price point. Now the heads I'm a little confused about. They're about $100 less than a 5153 uh, 50 watt head, but I guess now that I say it out loud, these are an 80 watt amp with all the same features and more for $100 less. So I guess that price point actually makes sense for the wattage you're getting from it. But yeah, these combos especially, I love a classy looking combo. If you've ever seen my Zinky Mofo insert photo, Jake, don't forget when you're editing. Nah, I'm totally gonna forget. I almost forgot. Let me go take a picture of it because I don't think I have one. I think it's so nice looking. It looks like a classy piece of furniture almost that just kicks your butt. That's what these are to me. I think these are, look way cooler than, than it. And not that cosmetics mean really anything with an amp, but I think these look so, so sharp. That is the new 5150 Iconic Series amps. I cannot wait to hear what these sound like. And we all know I'm probably gonna put it in a pre-order to get my hands on one of these beautiful ivory combos. Well, that's it for today, but damn, you thought you got rid of me, but I'm back and I'm annoying you more than ever. Since I'm settled, I'm gonna start kicking content more and more. I'm gonna shoot for actually like two uploads a week. I'm gonna go back to my normal Fridays at nine and probably add another day, maybe Mondays or Wednesdays, um, where I shoot, where I put up another video. So, I'm not going anywhere. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up on this video, and any comments, drop them down below. See you guys later.